Shruti Saha is inconsolable after hearing of her mother's death while waiting in line to get oxygen for her. I want to go to my mother, she cries repeatedly. Earlier, she described just how difficult it is to get help in Delhi. We have been out of our house since 2 in the morning. There's no oxygen available in all of Delhi, and after a lot of running around, we finally got here by around 4. Initially, there was a queue on the other side. Then we were told that we had to come to the front side and queue here. My mother is very ill, and for the past two days, we've been trying to get a bed in so many hospitals in Delhi. <laughs> Shruti's mother is just one of the 3,645 people who died in India on Wednesday. Delhi remains one of the worst affected states. Its leader said despite trying their best, every hospital in the capital is overburdened and treating people beyond their capacity. That's why this space in central New Delhi, where political rallies and religious festivals are usually held, is being converted into a makeshift hospital. This is where the government is constructing a 500-bed intensive care unit facility. It hopes to have an extra 1,200 ICU beds in the capital within two weeks, but that's still nowhere near enough to meet the numbers needed right now. Delhi's cases are going up by more than 20,000 each day, and health experts say around 15% of people with the virus need to be in hospital. The U.S. State Department tweeted saying access to medical care is severely limited due to COVID-19 cases and U.S. citizens who wish to depart India should use the available commercial flights now. But despite the country going through its worst crisis in its modern history, the last phase of regional elections went ahead in the state of West Bengal on Thursday, where four candidates have already died from the virus. In the context of a raging pandemic, it's unconscionable that uh, people should be called to vote uh, today, particularly in the city of Calcutta, where the, positiv the positivity rate of RT-PCR tests is currently at 50%. Health experts say the devastating scenes witnessed in other states will be repeated in West Bengal as a result of the large political gatherings. Elizabeth Puranam, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.